Al Gore has made himself the poster child of the crusade against global warming, but is Al Gore personally profiting from you following his lead? Christopher Horner, author of The Politically Incorrect Guide to Global Warming and Environmentalism, explains how it could be all happening. He joins us from Charlottesville, Virginia. Hi, Chris. Good morning. All right, so help me understand this. Apparently, Al Gore owns part of this company that allows you to buy into getting carbon credits. What is that? This is what Enron was engaged in when they were pushing this scam. It's the world's second oldest profession called rent seeking, where you try to make millions off of governmental policy favors from things you wouldn't make money off of in the marketplace. It's what DuPont is doing now after they got out of the nylon business. They would like to sell credits uh, to people to continue their own lifestyle because DuPont shut a bunch of things down. What Gore is doing is selling what are called carbon offsets. You can consider them the modern day pet rock. That is, you like the idea of having a dog, but you don't like the responsibility of having a dog, so for an absurd amount of money, we'll give you a, an icon and a piece of paper saying, here's your pet chowder. In this case, here's your carbon <laughs> offset. You don't actually have to stop taking all those trips that Al Gore and the wealthy want to continue taking if they can afford it. You just want to pay extra. Right. So the hippies have gone from, if it feels good, do it, to if, it, if you do it, feel really bad about it, but pay someone like Al Gore extra for the right. So let me get this straight, Chris. What you're saying is Al Gore, who's going around the world uh, talking about the dangers of global warming, and by the way, one of the things you could do is buy these carbon credits. He's selling the carbon credits? Mm -hmm. You could actually reduce more global warming if you buy my book, in bulk, by the way. It's available on Amazon. <laughs> He's selling carbon credits because, here's the good news. Everybody rocking in the fetal position can get up. If you look at Al Gore's lifestyle or Leonardo DiCaprio, he should have chosen a more eco-friendly girlfriend than somebody in Israel, right, where he has to jet off all the time? No, they don't believe what they're saying. Their actions speak far louder than their words. However, Gore is doing something he doesn't speak very loudly about, and that is positioning himself to make millions off of something that he's trying to scare people into buying. It's very clever. It is clever. All right, so he's, this company that he bought into is Generation Investment Management LLP. So if I'm just a regular consumer, how would I buy these carbon credits? Uh, you, you put that check in the mail. Uh, that's what you do. It's as simple you as that. You, well, you can you can get on online and calculate your carbon right. footprint. Say you're one of the uh, the wealthy baby boomers who feels really bad about the fact you, that you have four houses, and I know several of those. Well, then you get online, you calculate your footprint. You, for example, if you have a cat, cats tend to be, for whatever reason, very flatulent, and it costs six dollars per year to offset your cat. $10 to offset a grandmother. I'm not making this up. It was just reported last week. There's an Australian company that's actually competing with Gore for this business. And the idea is you can offset particular activities. If you want to live like the wealthy, you pay even more and so on. You calculate it, you send the right. check, and you feel much better. But you don't stop emitting. That's the difference. That's exactly right. Wow. This is such a good story. Chris Horner, thank you very much for thank bringing you. it to our, so attention, to our attention. His book is called The Politically Incorrect Guide to Global Warming and Environmentalism. Thank you, Chris. Coming up on the show, a daring...